Hello, sexy people. You want to set up a download caching server so you don't have to download the same thing multiple times? Well, this is the video for you. You want to download a Steam game to multiple computers? Why do you have to download it twice? This lovely solution here is called landcache.net. It creates, I believe, an invisible proxy that runs on your network. So whenever you go to access the internet and download something, it'll first download it to the server and then it will download to your computer. I made a script that does it for you and this video is based on the script. You can always just run these commands, but the script does a lot of other things for you. You're gonna want a virtual machine or an actual computer running Ubuntu Server 2004. Let's say you've got your Ubuntu 2004 right here and you're logged in and you're ready to go. All you gotta do is go sudo su, make yourself the root user, type in your password. And you want to head over to my GitHub right here. This is the script that's going to be run. Very sexy. You get this command right here, you copy it, and then you chuck it into here. It'll run for you and it'll tell you what it's doing at the top. So I'm going to speed through it a little bit. Okay, so once you get to this screen where it lists all your IP addresses, you just want to take your IP address right here. This is the IP address of the server. You want to copy that. The 192.168.something.something, .something, something, that'll be your address. Just press enter once you have that copied and it will take you to the screen where you have to do stuff. I know, big scary. Trust me, it's easy. All you want to do is change the IP address of your LAN cache to this one here. You want to change your DNS bind address to this one here. Um, I usually put my upstream address as Cloudflare, just because it's a little bit quicker. Or you could just use the default one. The land cache root, dot slash land cache. The disk cache size, one terabyte. It's completely fine. The index size is the size of the individual files. I just leave this default. You should leave it default as well. The cache max age is 10 years. So I'll keep your downloads for 10 years going forward. And the time zone is Europe slash London. I'm not in Europe slash London. I'm in Australia slash Sydney. You might be in somewhere else. You just change your time zone. Doesn't really matter too much. Once you're done with the file, you do control X, type Y, press enter and the script will continue once you're done with this all you have to do is go into your router settings you change your dhcp dns server to be the ip address that you copied before this one right here or if you don't have access to your router and you want to get up and running quickly all you have to do is pop onto your network settings and change your dns server to your land cache server you right click on the network icon and you go like network settings and then you pop into change adapter options find the adapter right click and go properties click on ipv4 you just have to check the box that says manual dns servers and you enter in this dns server here if you have any issues with the script you just pop onto my github you can open up an issue here if you have any recommendations for how i can improve it you can just happily make a pull request i'm cool with taking any suggestions thank you for watching the video if you liked it please subscribe it tickles me in a fancy way thank you for watching